Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the zoo. I'm Reckless, and this is our second episode of Sombat Zoo. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we are building our giant panda habitat w- along with this massive temple to accompany them. Uh, I apologize that most of the temple building, again, w- fell victim to a corrupt file on OBS. So, unfortunately, most of my building of this temple uh, is not in the video, but I hope you guys can forgive that. And again, I'll ask the community again if you know of any way to stop OBS from constantly corrupting my recording files, that would be much appreciated. But anyhow, building aside, uh, this is my most ambitious build project to date. I hope you guys appreciate the scale and effort I tried to accomplish with building this because it certainly took me quite some time. Altogether, over the last week, I invested about probably, I think the total recording time was like 10 hours. And even in doing so, I didn't use completely unique assets. As you can see uh, in the background here, there are uh, a couple workshop pieces. I didn't use any of them, but I used like, uh, like I'll take a roof off of one or like I got some ideas from them. You know, that's, that's what I wanted to do is instead of uh, struggling to come up with unique ideas and whatnot, I would simply take inspiration from workshop pieces and just make them my own. So I hope you guys like what I've done here with this temple. This is basically going to serve as our focal point to the zoo, our center point. Excuse me. Uh, this is what uh, Disney call would call a weenie, right? It's 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 something that is a, a eye-catching center piece that attracts your eye as you enter their park, or in our case, our zoo. So I want this temple to serve as kind of like a central meeting point for the zoo and a central hub, if you will, to to expand to the rest of the zoo. From here, in the basement of this temple, I've included a train station as well. So this will be kind of like Grand Central Station for the zoo, allow people to uh, journey out into different sections of the zoo from this temple. I figured we would start with the giant panda, just simply because, you know, this, this section of the zoo is a Chinese section and there is no animal synonymous, more synonymous with China than the giant panda, and also it's one of the few Chinese animals we do have in the game. This part of the zoo, uh, I figured we would start with China just because of the way our builds have gone at the beginning of the entrance of this park, in of this zoo, but I want you guys in the comments below to vote for what part of Asia you'd like to see after China. So we're going to do the red panda and then for, depending on what you guys would like to see we'll determine what uh, part of Asia you, you'd like to see next. So leave your comment down below. Also if you, do, if you are enjoying the content please do hit the like button, share the video if you'd like to and if you haven't already please do consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. I try and keep active uh, in replying to your guys' comments and uh, everything that you post. We do have a Discord set up as well, so if you guys want to join the Discord, the link will be in the description down below. But now that all that YouTube jargon is out of the way, uh, a few little facts about giant pandas for you guys. The giant panda has actually been moved off of the endangered species list. They are now considered vulnerable. This happened in, I believe it was... Uh, 2017 if I'm not mistaken so due to conservation efforts and the Chinese government's willingness to uh, create uh, national reserves and protect their uh, food sources because if you're if you're unaware the giant panda only eats bamboo strictly bamboo diet and they only eat the mature bamboo plants so uh, for example in 2008 there was a massive earthquake in the in China in the region that the pandas live in and it destroyed a lot of their uh, food sources simply because the bamboo hasn't had enough time to uh, regrow and mature right 
pandas eat something like every five to six hours. They're like complete gluttons, right? And that's why they're so fluffy and round and cuddly, right? It's just, they're constantly chowing down, right? So if you've ever had the opportunity to see these guys at, the, at a zoo, nine times out of 10, they're eating, right? Like they're either sleeping, they're goofing off or they're eating, right? They're just the coolest animals. So I, I'm happy to include them here in the zoo. I hope you guys like the habitat that we've made for the pandas here. I think it turned out really well. I will be fleshing out the inside of this uh, uh, temple a little bit more once I figure out exactly what I want to do with it. I created like a little uh, panda face in the tiles of the uh, uh, of the floor that you'll see in a second. It's just a silly little face that I made. Uh, you know, it's nothing fancy, but I, I thought it was just a cute little thing. Uh, going on off of that though what i was saying with the pandas is they they have been moved in off of the endangered species list so that is definitely a plus for the panda communities around the world and uh, enthusiasts like myself but uh, they are still very threatened right i mean their their populations are scattered uh, amongst their their population ranges and the number of animals in each of the population zones is very fragmented right if you think about it, there's still less than 2,000 giant pandas in the world, right? So even though they've been moved off the vulnerable list, there's still like such a tiny, tiny number of them, right? So if you are a fan, you know, worldwide, will worldwide, or World Wildlife Foundation. Now that I can finally spit that out. Uh, does offer a uh, uh, an adopt a panda program so you can sponsor a panda uh, I'll try and leave that link in the description if I do remember to do so but aside from that uh, a more pressing concern than the pandas I want to talk about is the the current state of things in Australia I'm sure you guys all know about this right now these Australian wildfires and uh, it's a tragedy, right? I mean, I know Australia is the, the driest climate on Earth, essentially, and they have fires every year, but this one is, is something else. You know, it's, it's killed what they estimate to be close to a billion animals so far. A billion with a B, right? If you're familiar with Australian animals, a, a vast majority of the animal species there are threatened or endangered themselves. So to take a billion animals out of the, their respective gene pools, you know, across all species and all animals is very threatening to their populations, right? So aside from the loss of human life, right, the, the sheer staggering number of animal deaths with this year's fires is, is it's, it's mind blowing and it's, it's truly saddening. So if, if you guys do have the ability to donate I'll leave a link down in the description uh, for you to do so you know every little bit helps uh, I don't I don't suggest you go to quite as much lengths I'm sure you've seen this uh, Twitter story about the uh, quote-unquote model who uh, sold certain pictures of hers to raise funds for Australia in all, in all honesty, I think she should be given a humanitarian award, you know, like, she raised, this woman, if you're not familiar with the story, she offered to sell, uh, special, not, not necessarily sell, uh, that's the wrong word, but she offered to give, uh, special pictures of herself, uh, to anyone who would donate, uh, $10 to the Australian Fire, uh, Fund. Well, this woman had an unbelievably viral response and she raised close to a million dollars just because of all, all the thirsty folk out there that wanted to see her pictures and or, you know, support the cause, right? It went completely viral. She raised a ton of money, like an absolute metric ton for the relief effort, right? She, her uh, contributions were larger than that of some countries, right? I saw a graphic where it was like ranking uh, countries' uh, aid dollars that they've sent to Australia, and like her name was like, I think it was like sixth or seventh on the list. It's just absurd, right? Like the power of the internet and the power of uh, uh, of a certain appeal, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, I don't want to uh, 
risk my channel getting flagged for using certain language, but I think you guys get my drift, right? So, either way, kudos to this woman, you know, she she did what she had to do to, to, and to make a difference, and it, it worked in spades, so, you know, I can only tell you guys here to just hit that donate button and add some funds, you know, I, nobody wants to see my body, so, you know, just, uh, if, if you are in a position to give, you know, every little bit helps in a case like this. It is a, a tragedy for the planet, right? So that's my spiel on that. Going forth, uh, in regards to our Sombad Zoo here, uh, just switching topics quickly here. Uh, like I said, we are going to finish with China. So that means the next a animal habitat will be the red panda. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna put this. I don't know the layout of the zoo yet. I'm, I'm kind of doing this one off the cuff and kind of making it up as I go. But uh, yeah, next will be the red panda and then we'll be moving on to a different uh, section of Asia. So if you want to vote it down in the comments, I'll be sure to take a tally of where you guys want me to do next. If you have a specific animal that you want to suggest alongside your, excuse me, alongside your recommendation for that, please leave that down in the comments as well. Ah, in the video here, you can see this gorgeous panda mosaic uh, in the center of our path system here. I did not make this myself. I am nowhere artistic enough to do that, but uh, I picked this up off the workshop. There's a few different animal mosaics available on the workshop now. There's a turtle, there's a hippo, uh, there's this panda one, and they're just absolutely gorgeous, right? The amount of work that these people put into making these things is absolutely breathtaking. So if you do want to pick that up, uh, please go on the workshop and download it. It's such a cool asset. It's made from the switches, the same sort of uh, thing that people are using to create these uh, unique fonts uh, are the same things they're using to do, make these mosaics. I just think the creativity of some people is is absolutely incredible. I mean, my my creativity lies in in you know this sort of thing that you're seeing here, like natural foliage and whatnot. And even then, I'm not the best at it. But you know, I digress. If you are uh, liking the content and you want to stay tuned for the next few builds and watch the Sombat Zoo progress as we go, please do think about becoming a subscriber. It does mean a lot to me. I, I'm on top of my channel as far as uh, replying to comments, making sure your guys' uh, comments are read and replied to. So it just makes my day every time I can see uh, someone enjoying my videos. So I want to thank all the new subscribers that are here. I want to thank all the times you guys have commented, left a like. It, it really means a lot to me. I hope you guys like the giant panda habitat that we made here. And I assure you this zoo will be pushing the limits of my capabilities. And I hope you enjoy the efforts I'm making uh, to bring this content for you guys. I apologize that my upload schedule isn't locked down and there is quite a bit of time in between videos, but like I said, just to make this one, it took me about 9-10 hours of footage, right? So it does take me a while to make these kind of things. I hope you guys can uh, let the upload schedule slide in lieu of higher quality content. But either way, uh, I'm going to leave you guys with... Uh, some cinematic shots at the end like I always do please do join the discord and if you do have the means to do so please consider donating to the Australian uh, help relief fund simply because you know they can use every penny they can get in order to uh, help the animals down there help the people that have lost their homes help just uh, pay the firefighters' salaries and keep them fed, right? I mean, it's it's truly a tragedy for the time, right? It's The fires down there are some of the biggest they've been in, in ages, and it's way bigger than the Amazon fires were. So if you do uh, have the means to do so, please consider donating. I'll leave the link down in the description. But aside from that, as always, I'm Reckless. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I'll leave you guys with some cinematic shots here, and please do stay tuned for the rest of Sombat Zoo. Thanks again, and bye-bye.